All right, that's um, that's very interesting. I have to admit that's very interesting. Um, however, you think Brock Lesnar's gonna win? I mean, Brock Lesnar? I mean, really? I I have to go with Triple H because, quite honestly, let's face facts: the ante's up. Shawn Michaels is in his corner this time. It looks like he's actually gonna make it to the match. <laughs> have his arm snapped like it was at SummerSlam. Um, you know, uh, I just, I look at it this way. These are two matches where, these ne these next two matches, the one I'm in right now, the one I'm talking about right now, and the one I'm going to get to, are all about redemption. All about redemption. Triple H needs redemption against Brock Lesnar. You know, he is, he is the, that, that icon, that ultimate icon. Quite honestly, um, you know, can, can, you know, just, just bring an audience, you know, bring an audience wherever he goes. He's, he's that big, he, and for him to lose again to the same guy, not likely to happen. I mean, it's possible. We'll see. I mean, it is Brock Lesnar after all. I'm not gonna dis, completely disquash the idea, but let's face facts. Triple H, I pick to win for the Brock Lesnar Triple H match. Um, there is another match that I want to get into briefly, and then I'm going to get into the WWE Championship um, match, obviously that I've been mentioning, John Cena versus The Rock. I'm gonna, but I'm going to get, I'm going to get in that to, in just a bit. I want to mention Ryback versus Mark Henry. The only reason why I want to mention it is because everybody thinks, everybody. Or most people tend to think. I don't know. It could be just me, or it could be just a lot of people. I don't know. But everybody seems to think that Ryback can't do his finishing maneuver on Mark Henry. Now, here's the deal, folks. Ryback's close to 300 pounds. He's one heck of a bodybuilder. In my opinion, he's going to get him up there for the shell shock. Will he be able to do a superplex or anything like that? I mean, really intense stuff. Obviously not. We saw, we saw what we saw what happened with. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna make a comparison here. Goldberg and Brock Lesnar in WrestleMania 22, two really big, strong guys. You know, they, they kind of cancel each other out because their power is so over massive, and you know, just that. But I honestly think that Ryback's gonna win this match because he needs he needs a good win. And anyways, on to the WWE Championship. This one's the big one. This one they're all talking about. The Rock and John Cena, number two. Um, the Rock's come back, and I have to admit, he seems rather confident. And, and, and you can't blame him. I mean, he he verbally just dis he he you know he kicked he kicked the crap out of John basically at last year's WrestleMania, which I was kind of you know surprised at. Um, I mean it. It wasn't a straight up thrashing, obviously. I mean, you know, there were a lot of back and forth moments and stuff like that. But, um, anyway. Um, but anyway. But John, I felt, really did get caught up in the moment at the end, and that's what cost him the overall match. Now. Um, He's been telling that a lot lately. He's been telling that, you know, he told it on Raw. He said, you know, I got caught up in the moment. I got caught up in the drama. I got caught up in this. And he's been saying it on interviews and stuff like that, which is all good, you know. I'm, I'm glad that John will admit that he got caught up in it. But I'm really hoping that this year John pulls it together and gets a win. Now, there are rumors. I heard there are rumors going about online. I don't know if these are true or not. I have no clue. Possibly uh, a Cena heel turn. I don't know. A uh, Cena heel turn. I don't know. Uh, quite honestly, I think if you should have turned him heel, you should have turned him heel last year. That's that's my opinion. That, that's the way I'm going to keep it right now. Cause, but it would be interesting to see Cena go back to maybe like the 2003 John Cena, you know, Word life. I miss that stuff. I do. I really do. 
but um, anyway, um, reviewer guy, reviewer guy, we gotta get back to you before we, um, I think before we close up this show, reviewer guy, what is your opinion on the John Cena and uh, The Rock? Okay. I like The Rock, no doubt about it. He's a good guy. Um, John Cena, big time fan. I have to admit that it's. I know it's kind of weird. You think of me more as a Rock kind of character, but to tell you the truth, I like John. I like John. I like his worth ethic. That's what I like best about John. His worth ethic. Man's got zero backing down skills, so that's why I like him a lot. You know. I don't like the old school freestyling rap like you were referring to earlier or whatnot, but eh, whatever. I like Cena, you know, so I pick him to win. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, I like yeah, I like that. Finally, we're on the same page for once. Oh, that's that's kind of interesting. Once we're finally on the same page, you and I. Wow. You, you, you're a John Cena fan too, huh? Oh, that's cool. Um, but anyways, WrestleMania should be great. I mean, they got Puff Daddy performing or Sean Diddy Combs or whatever the heck you want to call him nowadays or whatever the heck he's calling himself nowadays. <laughs> uh, he's, 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 always, he's always been a good performer. I have... Yeah, one of the, one of the best, I think. Since we have about ten more minutes left in the show, I want to jump into my favorite, my five favorite wrestling matches of all time, and I'll go over a little description of this at home base. So we're gonna go to home base now, where actually the reviewer guy, I think, is or was rather, and then we will um, touch back with you later. All right, see you there. To home base. You are still watching freestyle, just to let you know. <laughs> I thought I'd let you know real quick. Um, we got a few minutes left, so I wanted to go to space with my five favorite wrestling matches of all time for the WWE. My first match will be Triple H versus Goldberg versus Kane. I my view a very very great match in 2003. Quite honestly, one of the best world title matches I quite honestly can think of. Maybe besides Shawn Michaels and Triple H hooking it up a couple of times, they they were pretty good. But I mean, let's face facts. Goldberg, you got Goldberg, you got Kane, you got Triple H. It was a pretty good match, and I mean, I love the way Triple H goes ahead and convinces Kane that he's going to be on the download. So, I got my you know, my WWE title here sitting on my shoulder. So, let's go over the top 5. Okay, we move on to number 4. Number 4 is Shawn Michaels versus the legendary and I do be the legendary and mortal Hulk Hogan. This one happened at SummerSlam. It was a really great one. I mean, I loved seeing this match, even though Hulk Hogan got quite bloody, if I remember correctly, in this matchup. But it was still one of the best matchups of all time, in my view. Seeing Sean and Hulk Hogan go at it, it's great. I mean, Hulk Hogan was the first guy I knew even before I got into wrestling. Because I got into wrestling in 2002, 2001, somewhere around there. You know. And Hulk Hogan was the only, one of the only guys I know from the actual 80s. Which was which is still, he's still, in my book, one of, one of the best performers of all time. Maybe not, maybe not the best wrestler, but definitely the best, uh, one of the best to, to showcase what wrestling can be all about. So that is why I picked this match as number four. So moving right on, let's move in to number three. Number three. 
Now this is personal, is really a personal favorite of mine. It's You'll see this guy on my list twice, obviously, John Cena versus Chris Jericho. This was a big coming back for John Cena at the time. Um, you know, he's just been out with a neck injury due to his matchup with Batista at uh, SummerSlam, I do believe. And um, this was greatly anticipated. Finally got to Chris Jericho to shut up, you know. I mean, it wasn't the, it wasn't really the greatest match of all time, but the hype for it was so flippin' awesome. You got to admit, you, you got to like it. And I mean, it's not a bad match. I'm not going to say it's a bad match. I mean, technically speaking, it's not one of the best. But hey, it works. So, Chris Jericho and John Cena take my number three spot. Definitely. Number two. Okay, this one is by far one of the best. If you do not like this match, there is something wrong with you, or you are clearly not a wrestling fan, in my view. You do not like this match, I don't know what's wrong with you. I really don't. I mean, this had everything. I, I tell you, this had everything. This had back and forth, you know, uh, pile, uh, tombstone pile drivers, uh, lash rides, um, Pedigree after pedigree after pedigree, um, you know, it just, it, it, it egged on and, yeah. it egged on like no flipping tomorrow, uh, honestly. It kept on going, which is one of the reasons why I love it. Triple H versus The Undertaker, WrestleMania 27. That one was really good. Not to say that the 28th one wasn't bad, but obviously I didn't have any real footage of the 28th one, so that's why I haven't. That's why I don't, wouldn't bring it. But I definitely would admit that would be in my top. Well, if not my top five, then definitely my top ten. If I were to do a top ten, but I'm only doing a top five. My last match, my final match. Uh, of course, it's got to feature John Cena. John Cena versus Triple H, WrestleMania 22. Now I have to admit, this is the one. This is this is probably once or twice where I actually bet against John. Believe it or not, I've really ever bet against John, but this was one of them. What I was thinking, no way he's gonna beat Triple H the first time. I knew he could beat him. No, no doubt about it. No doubt. I have no. I have utmost confidence in John's abilities whatsoever. But in my view, I thought Triple H was gonna win that match. Uh, at least going into it. And once I saw that the way, the way it was going out, obviously I knew that John Cena was gonna win. But um, I have to admit, one of the one of the best matchups, one of the best performances in intros too. I I love this intro. I mean. Triple H with the you know the King of Kings working it right right and I mean that just worked out beautifully and then the you know the Mafia guys and whatnot still one of my favorite favorite of all time introduction to John don't get me wrong I like the um, the WrestleMania 25 I do believe where he did the you know kind of homage to the real Slim Shady and stuff like that that was pretty cool but. I love the I love the mafia. It, it, in my view, this one takes the cake. This one had a lot to offer, and it felt like the finally the passing of the torch between Triple H and John Cena. At least for me, in my view, you know, finally like you know before then it was Triple H. Triple H, in my view, dominated up to up till about 2006. In my view, you know, he was he was my guy. I always wanted to pick him. You know, in two th between 2000 and 2006, he was my guy to pick. But after John defeated him, he became number one in my book. John was always a number two. I mean, he could, he was definitely number two or number five, somewhere around there. He was always, always one of the top guys, even when he was, you know, first starting out. But I like this match between Triple H and John Cena. One of the best. And that's my top five. So, planning on recording these every other month, and believe it or not, I've got my first guest lined up. At least I hope he'll be here, um, or you know, wherever we shoot this next. Um, we're supposed to have Steve on as a guest, so we're looking forward to seeing Steve, and let's see how much more chaos we can get ourselves into next time, huh? So, until then. Until, um, you know, I sign in with another episode. This has been the first ever 
freestyle show. I thank you so very much. For